it, it definitely isn't probable cause, in my opinion, for um, aggravated battery with a firearm. There's no intent shown in that in that document. Um, there's no words that were said. There's no pointing of the firearm at anyone. Essentially, what the document says and what the witnesses said on that day um, is that the uh, the defendant was being escorted out of the club. He reached for his pockets, looking for money in his pockets. Um, a weapon was pulled, and it was fired at the ground. And after it was fired at the ground, allegedly the ricochet or whatever happened was um, one of the either security guards or um, an employee of the club was was struck in, in, in his ankle. Uh, certainly, it doesn't show up any intent to uh, injure that individual. I think it is a, it looks to me like an accidental discharge, but even if we stepped it up from an accidental discharge and said it was some sort of reckless discharge, uh, it still wouldn't um, have the probable cause to charge him with an aggravated battery uh, with a firearm. There's no witness that says, uh, at least even even a word that the individual would say, you know, like, hey, I'm about to do something or something to demonstrate some kind of intent other than uh, an accident.